Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. Ever since anglers first baited hooks, live minnows have played a primary role in catching fish. As bait, minnows are just about as good as it gets. They come in many species and sizes and are available all year long regardless of season and they sport a lively natural action in both warm and cold water. Numerous minnow types are available throughout North America, but a handful of species account for the bulk of live bait use. Fatheads are a common and very hardy minnow species and they're available all year round. In their juvenile form, they're called crappie minnows. Shiners are popular minnows. They catch nearly all species of game fish. There are dozens of species of shiners, but the most popular are golden, lake, and spot tails. Most shiner species are fragile and very temperature sensitive, so keep them in cool and well oxygenated water. Chubs are cool water bait fish that typically are trapped in small streams. The most accepted and available are red tails and creek chubs. All chubs are sensitive to warm water temperatures and require good oxygen levels. Suckers are a well-liked bait fish for large predators. They're available in a range of sizes from 3 inches, which are great for walleyes, to 12 inches for targeting big pike and muskies. Dace are colorful lake minnows that closely resemble chubs and are often referred to as rainbows. When shopping for minnows, keep two things in mind. Make sure you get the right size of the minnow for the fish you're after and check to see that they're healthy and lively. To keep them lively, load your minnows directly into an insulated bucket with portable aeration. The other way of getting minnows is to catch your own. When your bait comes from local waters, you know the fish are used to seeing and eating them often. Seining is a quick way to catch large numbers of fresh minnows. Simply enter shallow water, holding both handles of the net and spread the net out wide. Slowly walk toward the schools of minnows, holding the net just above the bottom. When minnows enter the perimeter of the net, sweep the handles forward, closing them around the minnows, and lift the fish out of the water. Quickly transfer your minnows to an aerated bait container, and you're ready to go fishing. Minnow traps are easy and effective for catching a steady supply of fresh minnows. Place them in shallow water in the path of passing minnow schools, so the fish have to maneuver around them. In doing so, some enter the trap and are unable to find their way out. Placing bait inside the trap helps attract minnows. Cast nets are used by both freshwater and saltwater anglers for catching schooling bait fish just before you go fishing. The key is to practice holding and throwing the net across visible bait schools. Allow the net to sink and completely wrap up the bait. Immediately place the bait in an aerated bucket or bait well to keep them healthy and fresh. Keeping your minnows fresh and lively increases your chances of having a successful fishing trip. The best way to achieve this is to keep your minnows cool and aerated. An insulated aerated bucket is ideal for getting your bait from the tackle shop to the water for a day's fishing. While on the water, another option is to hold your minnows in a flow troll bucket. The fresh flow of water moving through the bucket will keep your minnows lively all day. For long-term storage, use a larger insulated bucket and change the water every second day. Aqualung tabs are a helpful water conditioning tool that removes chlorine and conditions the water. Live bait rigging with minnows is a favorite of walleye anglers. The typical rig incorporates a hook, snell, and a swivel along with a sliding sinker. Most anglers hook live minnows up through both lips and slowly pull the minnow along head first in a natural fashion. With larger, bulkier minnows like chubs, consider hooking them through the top lip. Bobber or float fishing suspends your minnow at a desired depth, generally just above the bottom or alongside cover. When float fishing, hook your minnow lightly through the back or through the tail. Spinner fishing with bottom bouncers or three-way rigs presents a minnow with more speed, flash, and vibration than a live bait rig and triggers walleye strikes the more aggressive presentation. Hook minnows up through the lips on a modest size hook. Drift or troll the rig just fast enough to keep the spinner moving. Jigging is an incredibly versatile method for fishing minnows. Match the jig weight to the minnow size and the depth of water you're fishing along with the fish that you're after. Most anglers tip a jig by inserting the hook up through the bottom of the minnow's chin and up through the head. 
Ice fishing with tip-ups is much like bobber or float fishing in that it suspends a minnow at a given depth. Rig small to medium-sized minnows just like when float fishing for walleyes or bass in the summer. For larger toothy species like pike, use a two-hook quick strike rig with a lightweight fluorocarbon or wire leader. And always remember when using minnows, keep your water cool and aerated. Nightcrawlers are widely available in bait shops and are typically sold one or two dozen to a container. And they're easily obtainable if you want to catch your own. After a rainstorm, simply pick up loose crawlers from the ground. Crawlers often appear from your grass at night, extending their bodies about halfway out of the ground. Wrap a flashlight with red cellophane and a rubber band to cut down on the brightness and avoid spooking worms. Softly approach within range and quickly reach down and grasp firmly, but don't pull until they relax or they'll break. Once you feel the crawler relax, slowly pull it from its hole in the ground. A worm habitat will provide night crawlers with the ideal conditions for long-term care. Foam walls insulate night crawlers from extreme changes in temperature and the vents on the top and the sides allow air to pass through the bedding. With replaceable bedding that's kept moist and a bit of food, night crawlers can be kept almost indefinitely. Make sure to change the bedding every month and food once a week and they'll stay fresh and lively all season. A spray bottle filled with non-chlorinated water will help replenish moisture as bedding dries over time. If you don't have time to mix your bedding from scratch, simply open a box of fat and sassy worm bedding. It's ready to use right out of the box. Nightcrawlers are amazingly versatile baits, easy to store, transport, and fish with. Whole jumbo crawlers are best suited for catching larger fish like walleyes and bass. Small crawlers or angleworms are best suited for catching panfish. Whole crawlers are a one-size-fits-all solution. Since larger crawlers can be broken down into small segments and used for smaller fish or kept whole for large fish. For panfish, fixed bobber or float rigs with night crawlers produce loads of fish. A number eight hook and a few split shot complete the rig. Using your fingernails, nip a small piece of crawler off one end of the worm and thread it on the hook to disguise its presence. When rigging for walleyes or bass, hook the crawler lightly through the nose using a number six live bait hook or thread the hook through the nose and out the side. For spinner rigging, thread an entire crawler onto a tandem spinner rig. Place one hook through the nose and the other part way down the body. Troll just fast enough to keep the blade moving and to give action to the night crawler. The key to keeping night crawlers alive is to make sure they're always cool and moist. While live leeches are best known as a walleye bait, large, smallmouth bass and big bluegills along with many other species eat them like candy. Most anglers who fish with leeches first choose the right size and then buy them either by the dozen or by the pound. Medium, even jumbo leeches are great for catching larger fish, while smaller leeches are a better choice when targeting panfish. There are two keys to fishing leeches. First, always keep them cool, under 50 degrees. Cool, clean water is what leeches need to be healthy and lively. The second key to fishing leeches is to fish them slowly using light line, small hooks, and minimal weight. Hook the leech through the suction cup end. This is actually the leech's foot, not its head, and this encourages the leech to swim away from the hook rather than ball up. Whether you dangle a leech below a slip bobber or drift it on a live bait rig, keep it slow and simple and let the leech's natural undulating action do all the work. In the boat, either store leech containers in an iced cooler or better yet, keep them free swimming in a leech bag or a leech tote right in your live well. It allows them to acclimate to the temperature of the lake. Leeches fresh from the live well squirm like crazy and although they're a little more challenging to put on the hook, fish can't resist them once they're in the water. When you're done fishing, return leftover leeches to cool storage. If you keep your leeches cool and healthy, you'll always have bait when you're ready to hit the water. Crawfish, crayfish, crawdads or yabbies, whatever name you choose, they're a favorite food of many fish species. Even though they sport elaborate defenses of tough shells, menacing pincher claws, and bad attitudes, that doesn't stop fish from eating them. These days, it's not just fish that chase crayfish for food. 
people too have taken a liking to these freshwater crustaceans. They're a staple in Cajun and Creole cuisine. And when boiled, crawdads are a great appetizer or even a meal depending on just how hungry you are. Catching crayfish can be fairly simple where they're plentiful. Some folks catch them by simply overturning rocks, then quickly snatching them either by hand or with a dip net. For a larger harvest in less time, it's definitely easier to use a crayfish trap. Fish parts or freshly dead minnows make an ideal bait to use in traps. Rocky shorelines with three to five feet of water are good places to find and trap crayfish. Set your traps and mark them with a buoy. Leave them overnight and let the crayfish come to you. Sometimes it only takes a few hours and you can catch a bucket full. All you need is some of your favorite Creole spices and a pot of boiling water and you're in for a treat. Today, the reality of invasive species is on everyone's mind. Invaders like the round goby, zebra mussels, spiny water fleas, Asian carp, and even viruses like VHS have anglers and fishery managers on red alert. Once invasive species enter a body of water, they change things forever. As anglers fishing live bait, we have to do everything we can to prevent the spread of invasive species. The best way to prevent the spread of invasive species is to limit the movement of water from one body to another. When you buy your bait from a bait shop, you know that the water's been tested and it's free of invasive species. Those are lively. That's gonna catch fish. I've got them insulated in the bucket and oxygenated. I'm ready to hit the water. Tim, thanks a bunch. Have fun. All right. Once you get to the lake, fill up the container you're gonna take on the water with fresh lake water. When you get to the lake, use a dip net to get your bait out of the bait shop water and put it into your onboard container. Make sure to save your bait shop water for when you're done fishing. It'll come in handy later on. A Ziploc bag full of ice will keep chlorinated water away from your minnows, but will keep your water cool all day for when you're off the water. When your day on the water is done and you have leftover bait, simply drain the water from your onboard container and place your bait back in the bait shop water that you've set aside. Even if you haven't added any lake water to your onboard bait containers, make sure to drain all the water when you come off the lake. It's a good habit and will prevent the spread of accidental transfer of water from one body to another. Always make sure you read and know your local regulations regarding live bait use and transport as they vary from state to state and from lake to lake. When you're on the water, enjoy all the success that fishing with live bait brings. In all conditions, nothing catches more fish consistently than live bait. Fraybill, the leader in live bait solutions.